it's Micare with More Prana Gardens. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tripod for peas. So let's do that. Now I started these peas in a group. If you need instructions on how to do this, hang on until the end and I'll put a video, I'll link a video for you for how to get to this stage. We did that over here. As for our tripod, what I already have set up is a pot with one little pea in it. It has potting soil halfway down because peas don't need a whole lot of depth. And I'm only putting a handful in here. And then I rolled the sides so my tripod is gonna have support inside the pot. So let's make one. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie a knot around one of my bamboo stakes. I'm just gonna tie a little square knot. All right, and then I'm gonna make them all to the same height, roughly. And if I could not get it caught on my pants leg, short people problems, right? And then I'm just gonna weave this string in front, behind, around, and then I'll hold it down with my thumb, behind, in front. And just keep weaving until you have like whatever looks good to you three or four levels i think that makes that makes five actually okay now i have some gaps in here i'm just going to push all of that together as best i can and then I end it over here by my original string. Whoops! And then I just undid a wrap. So I'm gonna go around that last one one more time. Get around there, you. And then I'm gonna tie it off to where I started. I'm just gonna use another square knot right here because that's the simple kind. That's just, you know, you tie a knot and then you tie it in the opposite direction coming back. Now, when I open this, I have a tripod. I'm gonna set those down into my pot. Come on, guys, there we go. If you're not short, you don't understand how hard this can be. All right, there we go. And I've got them pressed down to the center of the pot now. And then we're just gonna weave with this. So I'm gonna tie it on here again but this time coming from the bottom. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go around and then I go under the string just to like lock it off right there. And then I'll go around under the string to lock it off. Then I'm gonna come up so what I'm doing is I'm creating something for them to climb. Your peas want to climb vertically mostly, not so much this way, but you can train them to grab onto this or they can just kind of like, you can see this one's already coming up and his tendrils are about to reach it. That was the same motion, I just gave myself more room because these are getting closer together. Might be tempting as we get closer to the top to give them more space because it 
can get boring to stand here and wrap these, but remember that's something your pea's gonna have to reach up to to grab. You wanna give them room. Now I'm getting too close to the top to pass this spool through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off, give myself lots of slack. Stand on my toes. When I finish with this and get it all planted, I can put it next to my chicken fence. The chicken yard is right there, and let it grow up so that it gets tall enough on this side of the fence for the peas to go through the fence and drop down for them to eat. But I want these to be our people peas. So I'll probably put them closer to the house. They can go on the patio. This is something that I can move around based on weather if I need to. And just remember if you are putting them in a pot that they're gonna need more water than they would in the ground. And you can do this TP and stick it in the ground. I'm just showing you all the things that you can do here. All right, so I got up to the top where I can't really fit anymore. And again, I'm going to come up to my original string to anchor it. That might be out of the frame for you. But I'm just going to tie another square knot right up here at the top. Well over my head, staring into the sun. But that's okay. My friends and I are trained to tie knots above our heads, staring into the bright lights or darkness or whatever's up there. Good. Man, that sun. Okay. Tripod made. That doesn't. That didn't take very long. I didn't time it, but maybe you did. And then to separate out these peas, all I need to do is find one, scoop my fingers around it, and pull it out gently. So I want to get all that down in there. I'm just going to scoop it out. Ooh, I just stepped in a puddle. And then I'm going to set my pea plants down in there. Pull the soil back around them. And it's okay that I got the two together right there. No big deal. I could have pulled them apart if I wanted to. In fact, I'll do one like that to show you. Get over here. So see how these two are stuck together a whole lot? If I gently pull, then they'll split apart. You can get that to focus better for you. There we go. If you just gently pull, they'll come apart. All right. Now this one has a stowaway holy basil in it. I know that's a holy basil because I gave holy basil to my worms the day before I, or a couple of days before I took care of my worm bin. So I don't care that that holy basil is in there. And in fact, I just buried the whole thing. All right. So now that you got the idea, I'm just going to go a little quicker. Once these get established, or even before then, I could put flowers in the middle. Something that would grow low and would not compete. And something that doesn't mind shade because these peas will fill in. Mm 
this is a three gallon fabric pot in case you're wanting to try to replicate that. And I don't remember where we got this one, but um, I know Jumping Spider, but Johnny Seed sells them. You can get it from there. Oh, and if you know of the great tomato kerfuffle, that's a volunteer tomato. I have not fed tomatoes to my worms in over a year, or sorry, right about a year. try to fit one more. They might get a little crowded, but they're peas. They won't mind. You can basically, like, just dig a trench and grow peas shoulder to shoulder, and they'll be fine. Oops. Back in. Well, oh, well, I broke that one. Okay. So. Oh, that's heavy because it's full of water. <laughs> so see, they're just tucked down in there. And I can and I might go back in and put the rest of these in there just to fill up the space. But I can also leave it like that and take these down to a trellis wall where my tomatoes are and plant them between tomatoes. So I promised you I would put a link for this for starting seeds in a group without like seed starting pots or um, soil blockers, just starting them in a tray. So that video will be linked for you up here. And then YouTube's going to pick a video for you, and that one's going to be down here. Alrighty? Later, y'all.